Hi guys, welcome back. Um, if you watched my last video, uh, I'm wearing the same outfit because, you know, they were filmed on the same day, so just gonna have to deal with that fact because I'm not gonna change clothes. Anyway, this is a video that is not really on brand for the channel. However, it is one that I want to start venturing into. Not exactly this video in general, but ones like this video because I think they're fun, um, especially after the seriousness of my last video. So, as you can tell by the title that before you clicked on this video, this is the What I Got For Christmas haul. And before we start, I want to give that disclaimer that everybody gives beforehand. I'm not bragging. I just like to share, you know, what my family got me. Everybody likes to watch them. I watch them on loop. Uh, so, I will be bending over, reaching over quite frequently because my family and my fiance went overboard this year. So, let's start with the things I can't really show because they're either too big, too heavy, or, you know, or put away. Um, my father, I don't believe I brought it in here, my dad <laughs> got me and Nick a beautiful set of pots and pans from William Sonoma. I'll pop up a picture wherever my lovely producer of a fiance decides to put them. Uh, they are beautiful and wonderful and we are completely grateful, especially being an, an engaged couple, newly married couple soon. Uh, we don't have very nice things yet because, you know, let's face it, we're in our 20s. We're uh, still living in a place that we rent and, you know, we're struggling, but we're not struggling. We're comfortable, but, you know, it's always nice to get nice things when you're starting your life together. So, we have beautiful pots and pans now that we are completely grateful for. Also, and these are, this is just the box that they came in because... Um, we have already put these away and I've already started using them. Uh, from my grandmother, we got from our wedding registry a set of classic copper food or sorry, classic copper flatware set from Food Network. Um, again, this is just the box. I think, yeah, I do. I have sorry, headphone users. I have these sets. So we got. A soup spoon, or is this a soup spoon? What is this? Teaspoon, a dinner spoon, a butter knife, and a dinner fork. So each of these came with four of each of these for a total of 16 each, or 16, you know, total pieces in each. And we officially have three because my mom was very sweet and got us a third set when they were on sale. So we now have service for 12, uh, which is amazing. Um, so that was for my grandmother slash my mother is kind of like a, hey, like now you have a full set. Um, where should I go next? Let's do what Nick got me. Um, one thing, and okay, this is something that I truly love about my fiance. I refuse to buy myself things sometimes that I need because I am so hyper focused on the budget that we have set. So we have like a weekly budget for bills and gas and um, groceries and all of that good stuff. So if I'm at that budget, um, and we also have the savings, so I put money, the rest of the money in savings. Um, so if I have met that budget and I still have, you know, I still have money, I don't want to spend it on myself because I put it in savings for our future. Um, so if I don't know why this doesn't usually happen to me, I don't have like slip on shoes for the winter. So in the summer I wear my Crocs. Yes, I wear Crocs. Um, and my Birkenstocks. And those are like things that are easy to just slide on, run out the door. You don't have to put socks on. You don't have to tie your shoes, whatever. I don't have slip-on shoes for the winter. <laughs> Usually I have a pair of moccasins or, um, I don't know, winter slide-on shoes. 
uh, that are warm that I can wear outside even when it's like 30 degrees outside or below that because we live in Indiana where it's freezing. So I had picked up these shoes when we were shopping and I put them back because we reached our budget and I was like, you know what? No, I'm not going to spend the money on myself. And like he, he hates when I do that because he thinks I should be able to, you know, it's something that I needed. So he got me a beautiful pair of moccasins that are fur lined um, because I needed them and I refused to buy them for myself. So that was very sweet. Um, outside of that, he got me the ring light that is making my videos more beautiful and well lit. So you guys can thank him for the professional upgrade to my YouTube channel. And my biggest gift from him was my heat press. So I am debating on, I've always wanted to do an Etsy business and I have a, a wonderful vinyl machine that my mom, my mom got me, my mom got me for my undergraduate degree from college and I love it. I've used my vinyl machine for years, absolutely love it. And I do t-shirts and heat transfers and leggings and all of that and I would just use my iron and sit there and press it in sections for minutes at a time to get the decal on there the right way and it takes forever and my wonderful boy or boyfriend my wonderful fiance got me a professional grade heat press which weighs 50 pounds so I'm not gonna lift it up but again my producer my lovely fiance will pop a picture of it somewhere um so I am now being able to professionally create vinyl decal shirts and towels and blankets and tapestries <laughs> which is gonna come in super handy for the wedding um, but that was an amazing gift that I would have never bought for myself because I felt like it was too much but again that's what he says Christmas is all about it's about those fun things that you do not buy for yourself so I'm looking at the piles of stuff. Um, this is one thing that Nick got me. So I love sloths. And as you know from my other videos, I love stuffed animals as well. So this is Melvin. <laughs> Melvin was supposed to go in my stocking and didn't fit in my stocking because Melvin is huge. Uh, but he got me Melvin because I love sloths. I have a collection of sloths um, that are all named after people from the office. Um, but I've completed my full cast of The Office now. So this is Melvin. Melvin is not a character from The Office. Um, also, so since I was a little girl, snow globes have always been something that I loved and didn't buy because snow globes take up a lot of room and I love collecting things, but I never collect snow globes because they're just so large. But my wonderful, wonderful fiance got me a castle snow globe that plays somewhere over the rainbow and it's so cute. He just, every time I see a snow globe, I, I always point out, I'm like, oh, it's a snow globe and I wish I could collect snow globes. I've always wanted to. And so he got me a beautiful, a very Disney-esque um, castle snow globe. Uh, which I loved. And I think that's it from Nick. So um, I have my family, I don't know if it's a southern thing or if it's something that people do outside of that. We have family friends that I call like aunts, uncles, grandparents. So, and they're kind of related to me, but not really. <laughs> um, it is my mom's sister-in-law's parents, so they're not really related to me at all, but they're so sweet, and I've always called them my extended grandparents, but they got me a pair of fuzzy socks with aloe in them, and I know this is Miss Ruby's doing, 
<laughs> um, but she got me little tea towels and they say Mrs. Claus Cookie Company. And I love that and they're so adorable. And like it, it's something small and they do it every year. They always and they always send me fuzzy socks because Ruby knows I love fuzzy socks. So let's move on to my mother went completely overboard. Oh, I forgot about this. My fiance got me a Jack Daniels Family of Fine Spirits. Because I love Jack Daniels. It is my favorite drink ever. Um, so I got a sample of Gentleman's Jack, Tennessee Honey, the original, Tennessee Fire, and Single Barrel Select. Uh, Gentleman's Jack by far is my favorite, but it is very expensive. So, oddly, funnily enough, Nick got me this sampler. <coughs> we still had a little sample of Gentleman's Jack in the fridge, and then my mom each got us two mini bottles of Gentleman's Jack. So we have a ton of Gentleman's Jack just sitting around the house. <coughs> Sorry, I am coughing up a storm. My mama went completely overboard this year. <laughs> and it's okay because I went overboard on her too. But she loves us very much. So, my mom, this is in my stocking. It is an Aristocats colorativity book. The Aristocats is one of my favorite Disney's movies of all time. So, <coughs> that was very on brand. I'm sorry about the coughing, guys. Um, she got me, uh, these are new from Crayola, and like, she knows I love glitter. And Crayola glitter dots offer fun with glitter in a less messy way. The glitter is contained in each dot, no spills or sticky glue. <coughs> I'm so sorry. Um, so she got me these little glitter dots, and they're fun. It's like a little thing of, like, glitter dough that, like, sticks. And it's really cool. <laughs> so she gave me glitter to play in my house because my fiancé does not let me have glitter in the house. Um, because it gets everywhere. So much candy. Y'all, I'm supposed to be on a diet for the wedding. Um, oh, I forgot about this. <sighs> Me and Nick are going to Disney World for my, um, or for my honeymoon, for our honeymoon. So, my mom got us a field guide to Walt Disney World's Best Kept Secrets, the original Hidden Mickey scavenger hunt. <clears throat> so, if you didn't know, at Disney World, they have hidden Mickeys throughout the rides. In this book gives you little clues to where these hidden Mickeys are and it has a little thing in the back where you can keep track of how many of the hidden Mickeys you've found. So I'm trying to find one. Okay. Oh, I love this ride. Okay. Journey to Imagination with Figment. Uh, clue number 115. Locate a small Buzz Lightyear figure along the entrance queue. <coughs> and that's five points. So me and Nick are going to try and compete with each other to see how many hidden Mickeys we can both find in the process of our honeymoon. So that is amazing. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, I feel like I'm gonna say that through this whole video. Uh, me and Nick have officially started a tradition with each other where we buy each other a game and that we open on th or Thanksgiving that we open on Christmas Eve together and play together on Christmas Eve. So, I got him the game, oh, I don't remember what it's called. I'll link it down below. It's this board game where it's like a choose your own adventure and there are like eight different endings to this game. And like your, your ending changes depending on what you choose. So, if that took us like three hours to play one game. But I highly, highly recommend it because it was super fun. But if you guys are like early 2000s and 90s kids, you'll remember this plug and play game. And if I can find a picture of it, I'll, I'll pop it up here. But it was this plug and play little red Mickey shaped thing that had like a Joy-Con in the middle of it. And you could either play an Aladdin game or a Lion King game. Well, 
<clears throat> they have brought it to Switch. <laughs> and it's the exact same, exact same, down to the graphics on it. It is a 16-bit game. And I absolutely love it. I still can't get past level one on either one of them, but it is a complete blast from the past nostalgia and I absolutely love it. So, I've already opened this because I have little willpower when it comes to candy, but look how cute this box is. Um, my mom got us Kinder, Kinder Bueno bars which are like, it's a Kinder bar, but it's got like this hazelnut filling in it and it's amazing. And if you haven't tried it, please go try it. So my mom also, because right now there's so much wedding stuff going on that I feel like this Christmas, all I asked for was wedding stuff. Um, so these, I'm actually doing something similar for my bridesmaids that she got me my little bride bag that has bride on the bow and it has a K on it and I'm so happy about this. I've been using it as a purse so that's why there's stuff in there. <laughs> she also, for the wedding, got me a beautiful white robe that has, and I'll link, these all came from um, Etsy. Sorry, the name escapes me from it. These all came from Etsy so I'm gonna I'm gonna put their the links to their shops down below because it's a completely creator-based business and I feel like these people did some excellent work. <coughs> so this is my bride robe. It's a little wrinkled, sorry. This is bride on the back and then it's got some, some lace on, detail on the sleeves and as well um, along the bottom. So that is my bride robe and also, she got me little bride leggings from LuLaRoe, which I love. If you haven't tried LuLaRoe, try LuLaRoe. Some of their dresses and stuff are a little overpriced for my <coughs> liking, but their leggings are amazing and generally not more expensive than what you would pay at like Victoria's Secret and stuff. Um, I feel like this was the year for robes. That's the tie for my bride robe. So this one's a little harder to hold up because it's very weighted. So she got me this teal robe because she loves how teal looks on me. It's just this really like weighted teal robe. It's got a hood on it and I've been wearing it around the house and absolutely love it. Um, also you'll have to excuse the wrinkles on this one because I wore it to work. Um, she got me a very soft shirt and I think it's from Lane Bryant. Um, and it's gray, it's soft, it has this little like seam in the back which is actually pretty flattering on somebody with my body type. I feel like I'm talking really fast. I'm talking really fast. Also, so my mom is part of this group of ladies um, that are all teachers and we do a cookie exchange every year. And me and Nick were making five dozen cookies each for this cookie exchange because that's what happens. You make the amount of cookies for the amount of people that are coming and you all take one cookie from each and every person and you end up with a mixed, you know, bag of cookies. So our hand mixer, because we don't have a stand mixer yet, we registered for them for the wedding. Uh, but <laughs> our hand mixer is very old and very low quality and died because it could not handle, handle the sheer amount of dough that <laughs> we were mixing. My mom got us a Black & Decker hand mixer with this little, like it has like 8 billion attachments to it. But it's nice and we're very grateful for it because our hand mixer died and we use our hand mixer for like everything. We use it to shred chicken, which by the way, if you haven't tried that, try it. Easiest way to shred chicken, just do it with a hand mixer. Um, and we use it for our mashed potatoes and everything along those lines. Let me see what is in this big old bag. Okay. You're just gonna have to deal with this bag in my life. <laughs> my mom also got us a KitchenAid rubber scrapers thing. Um, it has a metal inside and a silicone outside, which we love because with those pans that my dad got us, we can't use metal on them or they don't recommend it. Um, my fiance, oh, 
This is a gift that I stole that one of my mom's students gave her for Christmas, but I am a mug fiend, much to Nick's dismay because we have 8 billion mugs in our house. But it was cute and it came with hot chocolate, so I have a new mug. <laughs> my mom also got us Friends shot glasses. Me and Nick watch Friends every single night to fall asleep to. We are obsessed with it and we now have friend shot glasses that have the holiday armadillo, the turkey with the glasses on it, the little frame, and then the Central Perk logo, um, which we love. I got two of these. I already ate one at work. Um, these are the Lindor milk chocolate truffles. Me and Nick, um, oh, the chocolate came from Nick. It was in my stocking. The shot glasses came from my mom. Me and Nick have a rule where our stockings that we give each other are full of gag gifts. Like, I gave him a, a book of dad jokes. I'm not pregnant, by the way. It's just he tells jokes that I tell him all the time are dad jokes. So a good majority of our stocking gifts to each other are all gag type gifts. So <laughs> he got me a Sound Bites remote, which has ridiculous little things on it. like. <laughs> Or, and I joke around that it is my iCarly remote, which I am, you know, obsessed with. Um, so, from my grandpa. Also, I'll insert a picture because they're at my mom's house with all the wedding stuff. My grandpa got me my wedding shoes, uh, which were extremely hard to find because they are these, this pair of Betsy Johnson flats that I could not find in my size anywhere at all so my mom found them on ebay and my grandpa ordered them for me for my wedding and i am completely totally very grateful for them that this bride changed her mind on her shoes <laughs> but also my grandpa got us these things from sharper image and they are little coin counters and me and nick you can see i haven't started me and nick are in a competition with each other each other to see how much we can save in our jars before the honeymoon so whoever wins gets a bonus from my grandpa so we're in a competition for that one uh chewy also if you haven't tried these they're really hard to find but they're really good they're extra chewy mints um i keep these in my purse all the time because they are fantastic and wonderful i think that's everything from okay so moving on to nick's family. Um, I don't have it in here, but Nick's uh, mother, so my future mother-in-law, her husband got me and Nick a bottle of wine. Um, he is a wine connoisseur and so are we. But my mother-in-law, my future mother-in-law and future father-in-law, I suppose, um, got me a wonderful Vera Bradley blanket that is super, super, super soft. And I will never have too many blankets which my future sister-in-law and niece and nephew also <laughs> took note of because they got me a fuzzy blanket as well, which I keep on our couch in the living room because it, it's amazing. It truly is. Um, also, now that I think about it, my mom got me this sweatshirt. It is a Nike sweatshirt. Not sure what it is, but it's got like this cowl neck and a hood. It does not have the little drawstrings, which I'm upset about because I play with those all the time. And then I guess the last thing that I have here, besides the multitude, sheer amount of candy that we got, uh, my mom got us two large fuzzy pillows for our couch. Our couch has um, a large, <laughs> Uh, green like olive green and white kind of theme to it um, so she got us these white fuzzy pillows that are actually made by cuddle duds um, which make long johns I believe uh, but they're very soft and very nice and large and we keep them on our couch and love them so as you can see we had a very nice Christmas um, behind me I'm looking up at it we got um, Salem a brand new cage, which I will insert, or Nick will insert a picture of here. Uh, we got a new, very large habitat for our for our hamster, and he is extremely happy in it. And 
uh, deserved it because he's our little baby. So, as you can tell, we had a very lovely Christmas with each other and our families, and it was wonderful, and we enjoyed giving as much as we received. Oh my gosh. Oh, but I'm not done yet. There's a box here that I forgot to talk to you guys about as I'm smelling it. Um, my mom uh, got me a big box of Lush goodies because they are <laughs> my favorite place ever. She got me two of the Comforter Bubble Bars, which have honestly become such a part of my anxiety like coping mechanism, it's not even funny. So she got me two of these uh, Comforter Bubble Bars. They kind of look like unicorn poop, which is what I call them, but they smell almost fruity. They're supposed to smell kind of like la laundry detergent, um, AKA comforter. Um, she also got me, I'm inhaling this, the Intergalactic Bath Balm, which has like a, it has like a minty smell to it, which again, I love, and now my fingers are blue, and a candy, I think this is a bubble wand, um, but this smells straight up like sweet tarts. So if you love sweet tarts, get you one of these because they're amazing. And it also came with a sample of the sea salt body scrub, which I haven't tried yet, but it smells really amazing. I'm, after growing up by the ocean, I am obsessed with ocean, like legitimate ocean scents. Um, so that truly is everything. Um, so leave a comment down below if you've made it this far of your favorite Christmas gift that you got this year or gave this year. My favorite one that I gave, hmm, oh, I know what it is. It wasn't even Nick's big gift. Um, it was a, Nick is obsessed with Marvel and Star Wars and all things, you know, geeky. Um, but I got him a 3D printed hoodie, um, so it looks realistic of the quantum suit uh, from Marvel. So from Endgame, I believe, and it looks like the quantum suit, but it's a hoodie. Um, and then I got him a North Face jacket because he is in desperate need of a coat. And I'm trying to think. Oh, I got him his fanny pack for Disney that looks like Mickey Mouse, so. I think he had a fairly decent Christmas, uh, but we all enjoyed time with our families and enjoyed giving and spending the season with them. And that's really what it's all about. It's not about any of these gifts that we received that we are so incredibly grateful for, especially for the things like the silverware and the, the mixer and the pots and pans. It's things that we'll use for our, our married life together. Um, and we are totally grateful for everyone that got to we got to see over the holidays and even for my family that is long distance i love you all very much and my family and merry belated christmas to all of you guys out there um i hope you had a good one again drop your favorite gift that you either gave or got this year and i will catch you guys in the next one bye guys